Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, Coach, final game of the season. It was against St. Mike's, which has been a long time uh, playing again. It's nice to have them back in the district. And for us back in this big district that we're used to, used to playing in. But first half, not so good. Second half, we came out and did pretty good. Uh, but we still struggled a little bit. St. Mike's is always tough. And uh, we knew you had a tough game. And what did you plan for, especially since we didn't have uh, our number one quarterback and things were a little different? And well, first off, I don't think it, it's the last game of the regular season. Uh, we're going to uh, most likely get a playoff seed. And with that score right there, it should uh, help us even go up a few notches in, in our opinion over here. So, I mean, St. Mike's. They're probably right under La Hanna. That's how good of a team they are. So that shows how good of a team we are. If you look at that offense and defense, especially offense, we got an eighth grade quarterback, a bunch of freshmen and sophomores sprinkled in with some, a few juniors and seniors. You know, St. Mike's coach came over and said, wow, coach, you know, you got a lot of young, great talent, you know, and hey, I mean, hats off to our team. Hats off to our, our young guys. I mean, they came and played. Um, you know, we've been asking for four quarters all year. I thought the first half was damn good. And the second half, hey, was even better. You know, yeah, it's 21-6, but um, shoot, for what we had on the field, you know, Aiden was out. He's our leading rusher, leading passer, leading touchdown scorer. I mean and we bring in an eighth grader with these guys, it's unbelievable what they're doing. I'm just so impressed and so happy for them. We were outsized, and St. Mike's brought some, some big linemen, big defensive linemen, and, uh, but it was surprising how we were able to handle them. Oh, you know, we watched film on them for two weeks, and we were like, wow. And then we went and scouted them, and we saw teams double teaming guys in 77 and cutting them and doing everything they could. That guy... Uh, and a lot of those other guys, they're tough and they're big. We've always been outsized pretty much, you know, here at Raton. But, you know, with the size of the heart and these guys uh, will, you know, you can't count us out. And whoever, you know, we're going to get that first round and wherever it's going to be, you know, we're, we're going to have a good opportunity because uh, we got a darn good football team. Okay, lay out the playoff uh, schedule for us. Um, it starts out. Uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night with uh, uh, selection, right? Yeah, tomorrow on ProView through NMA.org, I believe. They're going to start it at 11. The seating will come out about 11.30, and then we'll find out who we're playing and where we're going. And that's not 11.30 a.m., right? No, that's <laughs> tomorrow night, 11.30 p.m. So it's it, they always, you know, they get the, there's Saturday games and they get all the information. They got to decide who's where and takes a while. So that's why it takes that long, I believe. So late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, we'll know what we've got going and where we're going and who we'll be playing. Yes, sir. Yep. Does it look like anybody in particular or it just depends on who's who's uh, who won tonight and uh or who won and lost right there that's in those uh those bubble teams and those teams that's six through 12 you know um we're looking at some teams that we want to hopefully get beat and uh but if not i think you know we'll be willing to go wherever and give them a good game so we're excited okay congratulations coach talk to you later thank you